Welcome to I Am Geek, the show for the geek in all of us. I'm Ryan Street, and I'm here again with my brother Chris Street and our good friend Chris Catron. And this is our special Star Wars celebration episode. We are back. We are tired, but we are ready to talk about it. How are you guys doing tonight? Woo! Still tired. <laughs> Well, my brother Chris and I got to go to Star Wars Celebrations, but Katrin, you did not get to go. Are you disappointed? I'm very disappointed. I, I, <laughs> I've heard the stories and seen the pictures, and I, I, I just cried every night. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Me. You can't but. see him, but he's dressed all in black for mourning. Yep. Yeah. Black bands. I'm sitting in the dark. Yeah. Sitting it's in the so dark. And, yeah. So. His mascara is running from all the crying. Yep. <laughs> you're giving away all the secrets uh but the good thing is you have two years to plan for the next one so you, oh, you right. go yep. to the next one in, in yes uh yeah. 2019 2019 that would be two years yes yeah don't wherever. know where it's at yeah wherever it's going to yep. be um that but th- that is the same year that star wars land opens at disneyland and walt disney world so if i was a betting man it's going to be yes. at one of the two uh, places it's going to be by one of the parks. or Guatemala. Yes. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we had a great trip. It was fun. Um, it was long. Our days started roughly around five thirty. When I could get you up. Yeah. yeah. And ended like <laughs> it's one a.m. or so. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. So it was long days, and you're sort of trapped in this place all day long. Um, but we had we had a blast. So let's just jump right in. Uh, last Wednesday was our travel day. So you traveled yep. uh, from Dallas, and I traveled from yes, Houston. Yes, I did. And it was pretty funny that on both of our planes, basically, it was Star Wars fans. Yeah, I'm pretty sure half the flight were going to Star Wars Celebration. Like there was there was a guy from the 501st Legion. You know, all the guys that dress up, do all the costumes. With the stormtroopers and all the empire people, and then there was even a guy that was going to like help run the celebration stage, like the main stage. It's like a like a just full on beard older guy, and I think he just <laughs> I think he just traveled to every con and just did this for everything. It's pretty funny. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, on my flight, I sat down next to a guy. I said and he had a Star Wars shirt on, so I'm like, I bet you're going to Star Wars celebrations. He's like, Yeah, 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 and. Um, me trying to make conversation, I was like, yeah, you know, this is my second one. Uh, he's like, oh, it's my first one. I'm like, oh, that's cool, yeah. I think I'm going to dress up this time for a day and be Kylo Ren. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm dressing up too. He pulls out this bag from underneath the seat. It's like nice bag, unzips it, and he has a full-on Stormtrooper helmet in there. And I'm like, yeah, you got me beat. <laughs> <laughs> but he nice. had the, he yeah, had the, the full the costume. Uh, yeah, the guy I sat next to on the plane, again, a Star Wars shirt. So, was like, so again, yeah, I bet I know where you're going. <laughs> and he, he's like he's, he's like a, one of the main people in Texas or something that builds lightsabers and sells them. And he like wow. pulled up his phone and started showing me pictures. They're like really nice lightsabers. And he had this like full-on body armor, like a Jedi knight suit or something he was going to put on and walk around on Saturday. And I was like, yeah. Nerd, I'm, I'm just going. <laughs> Nerd, no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I dressed up. It was fun. It was fun. So that I mean, we got there Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had a free place to stay, which was great. Um, yes, and it was one of our relatives that works for Disney. She let us stay at her place, and then she like took us around. It was cool. She she said, "You guys want to do something?" I'm like, "Sure, why not?" Because we had Wednesday night free. And she goes, you want to go to the store where um, all the casts go and where we Ooh. sell everything for like cheap. And we're like, sure, why not? So she took us to this <laughs> yeah. behind the scenes store and we got to see um, uh, all this stuff marked way, way, way down. I, I was able to get like a, they have this cool TIE fighter popcorn bucket that's like, it's huge and you can wear it around your neck, but it's like huge. And, and in the parks, who knows how much it is, but they had it there for like six bucks. So. I was like, huh, I'll take a, a TIE Fighter popcorn bucket. That would be fun. So I brought mm-hmm. that home uh, to my son, and he's been playing around with it. So it's been pretty fun. Oh, yeah. But it's a cool yeah, store. Um, 
the only half of it was open. The other half like had actual stuff from like hotels, like tables and pillows and and stuff that they've taken yeah. out of the resorts, and you could buy them there, which was sort of. <laughs> I don't think Patron wants those. Yeah. No, I, I, don't, I don't. I don't know if I want to buy you from a hotel room. But, um, I mean, I'll put the poo bottles and the soap. You know, the, the the things that are shaped like Mickey. That you know, it's hopefully new and all that. And but now, not old pillows or anything like that. <laughs> they had like curtains and yeah. Uh, those actors- a bunch of TVs that were attached to like these big like desks and stuff. Yeah. And some, yeah. Oh well. No? Oh, yeah. We yeah, couldn't fit those go. on the plane, anyways. Uh, no. But that night we also <laughs> got to get uh, my favorite Disney treat, which was Dole Whip. Which uh-huh. if you don't know what Dole Whip is. It's like pineapple soft serve, and it's amazing. It's like heaven. And if it's you dairy. Like it's dairy free too, so that means I can get. Because nice. I can't eat a lot of dairy, and oh my goodness, it was delicious. I'm drooling right now. <laughs> we said we were going to go back every night, but we just didn't. We didn't. Yeah, we did not. Yeah, we, I, I, that's that's my one regret. The, but that was sort of our Wednesday, which leads us into Thursday, which we encountered um, Thursday morning. What time did we get there? Probably. Um... Oh gosh. Between like six, it was, well, no, it was probably closer to seven. Closer to seven, first. yeah. Yeah, we weren't sure because the 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 doors opened at ten. It was the first day, and we weren't really sure. Like I've been to San Diego Comic Con before, and I know you got to get there like super early if you want again. Didn't really know how this one was going to go, um, but uh, yes, it was super packed though. Yeah, so we <laughs> got there and we're thinking, okay, we'll get in line. And so we see the line, so we start to, to walk towards what we think is the end of the line. But the line wraps around not only the um, the building, really, the outside of the building, but it wrapped around the street. So you're basically going down the street, and you ended up on the other side of the convention center, which is huge mm-hmm. in Orlando. So the line, and when we got there, was pretty long, but then I heard it doubled back and That's was true. even longer. Yeah. Mm-mm. So it was a long line just to get into the building, um, but we already had our yes. tickets, so that was good. But once you got into yes, the building, you had to go through um, metal detectors and all kinds of stuff. Um, yeah, yeah. Some people apparently later in the day, like after we'd gotten there, like waited like five hours to get in or something like that. Oof. That's just insane. Yeah, I'm glad we got there <laughs> early. So they, uh, so that was a big, a big mess, and they uh, sent out an email later the people in charge of it uh, saying we messed up and we'll make tomorrow <laughs> better. <laughs> but Thursday they, they kicked the whole thing off with um, the 40th anniversary panel, um, mm-hmm. which basically celebrated 40 years of star Wars. And the first guest to come out uh, besides Kathleen Kennedy, which she was sort of the first one out, but the second guest to come out after that was the man himself, George Lucas. And I was a little surprised that he was there. <laughs> But he was there, and he seemed to be happy to be there, and he talked for a little while. And then, of course, they brought out um, a bunch of other people. They brought up Billy D. Williams. Um, mm-hmm. he was, so smooth. Yeah. <laughs> um, smooth Peter, like molasses. Peter May, who came out, that's Chewbacca. Um, who else was there? Anthony Daniels. Uh, C through PO, yeah. Anthony Daniels. Uh, and then Mark Hamill came out, which was great. Mm-hmm. And then the big surprise, um, Harrison Ford showed up, which is the yeah. first time he's ever come to anything like this. Mm. And we were all very surprised that he was there. They made jokes on stage about how he landed his, his airplane on I-4, which is the interstate there in, in Orlando. But it was, oh, yeah, and, uh, and Warwick Davis. Was yeah, Warwick too. Davis was there. He was one yeah. of the hosts for the week. But, yeah, I was amazed that Harrison Ford was there and that he actually sort of hung around a little bit and, and talked, <laughs> which was yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Now, we didn't actually get into that panel. No, we did not get into that panel. No. If you wanted to get into that panel, you had to stay the night the night yes. before. Yeah, the guy on, the, on my plane flight said that he was leaving the plane when they landed and going straight there and to get into line and sleep there overnight. I, I saw that. I saw where people were doing that and, like, <laughs> 
they were in line camping and then they played this really loud music that was like tums, 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 you know and it was like what in the world you know and people were just laying in line in, in their sleeping bags and I was like, no, that's no, so. No. I, I saw some pictures of you guys where, or videos where you're watching, where you kind of in some other area where they had like a screen set up where if you weren't in the room, you could still watch what was going on. Yeah, that. that's how we yeah, watched the 40th yeah. panel. Basically, they had um, what is the Star Wars show, which is an online show that you can watch on YouTube. They had a stage set up in the main expo area and they had a big screen and they would show the panels for those that couldn't get inside the panel. So that's where we watched it from. Uh, we got to watch it on the big screen, which was still fun because you're surrounded by yeah. Star Wars fans and everybody's oh, yeah. into yeah. it. Uh, but after Harrison Ford uh, was a big surprise for me, and I got excited. Um, John mm-hmm. Williams came yeah. out with a full orchestra, and they played yes. the part of the sound sal- the soundtrack uh, for That's Star awesome. Wars, and it yeah. was amazing. Just to, even on a screen, just to see him there um, conducting. The orchestra. It was funny that uh, backstage, I heard a story later that Mark Hamill and, and Harrison Ford were backstage and they were sort of saying their goodbyes and were getting ready to leave when the music was starting. And and I think it was Warwick Davis or somebody leaned over and said, oh, why are you leaving? Um, don't you know that John Williams is here? And they're like, he's actually here? And so they stopped, went <laughs> and like peeked their heads out and just stayed to listen to him. And that's how much people wanted to listen to him. Even Harrison Ford and Mark Hamill was like, we're staying for this. Uh, we're not missing out on this. So that was good. And they had a, a nice tribute uh, to Carrie Fisher um, there during the 40th, uh, which is very touching. Um, so let's see. What else What else went on day one? We went to a couple of panels, I think. Day one was a busy day. Yeah, and uh, we watched the floor quite a bit. There was a lot to look at, a lot of cool stuff, a lot of things I would love to buy but had no money to buy. Yeah, everything was super expensive. Uh, yeah, the my favorite, the, they're always at uh, San Diego Comic-Con is Bluefin. They make just super nice like action figures and stuff. They're super poseable, like all these movements on their body and everything. They're great. They actually make a nice little figures that you can pose for like drawing like a little little posable drawing uh, uh, figures to to draw from uh which is nice uh little, little mannequins basically <laughs> you pose but yeah super, super anakin nice. mannequins anakin mannequins <laughs> they do some they, they do some anakin mannequins <laughs> oh he was there too that's right he he uh um, oh uh, yeah hayden christian Christmas was Day. there so that was really cool um, but then we yeah. went to a, a, a panel. Yeah. We went that and, day. And uh, Ian. Yeah, the emperor. Yeah. The emperor. <laughs> emperor was there. He was there. <laughs> we went to a Disney merchandise panel, um, <laughs> which was yeah. uh, pretty funny because, like, like they were, it was basically a commercial for Disney products that they sell in the parks, <laughs> pretty much. Their new stuff coming out. We sort of wandered into it. I think it'd be fun. Maybe they'd give away free stuff, which they didn't. Um, but oh. every time something oh, new got, would come on the screen, <laughs> the audience would be like, Ooh, ah, we're just like, really, really? But they revealed like the Venus de Milo or something. It's like, Oh my goodness. But look at this ugly t-shirt that no one will ever wear. Woo. I don't know. I'm sort of, I love Disney. <laughs> I love them to death, but their merchandise, I, you know, I could do with It's lacking. It's lacking. Yeah. yeah. I think people yeah. with that much creative creativity, they could uh, think of some T-shirts that people would actually want to wear. that are just not yeah. ugly. And then they had they had all the little droids that you could build. They're like building stations. So they introduced new pieces to build like a Christmas hat on them or something. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, they they then they unveiled that they now have the protocol droids. As, yes. Yeah. yeah so we have. Yeah, we have an R2, D2. Um, but, uh, yeah, that would be neat to have. Pro- I guess. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> how many ways can you custom? I don't know. Any of those, how many ways? There was, you a, there was a few. The, the there are multiple ways. That's the free thing we got. We didn't get a droid, oh. but we got a pin. Oh, yes. That it showed new the new droids you could build on it. 
Uh, uh, Ryan has it so he can show you so you can't see it. Um, here it is. Here's the pin. Yeah. Can you see it? That's lovely looking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the big thing that people were handing out buttons yeah. and pins. Um, yeah, the, the one thing I did like is they did the they showed some new clothes for her, for her universe, and those are nice. Like those, they always do some nice designs. Those are a little bit more artistic. Yeah. Uh, than than a lot of the other stuff that they do. Like there was like a, like a teacup dress and a haunted mansion outfits and stuff like that, where it had like imagery that's very stylistic on them and stuff. Always. Like yeah, that's that was started by Ashley Eckstein, which uh, is the voice of Ahsoka on Clone Wars, and she's on Rebels mm-hmm. now. So I think that's why it looks so good because it was started by somebody outside of Disney. And then yeah, Disney, uh, and said, she hey, and like she was stuff. there. Yeah, she was there. She was there. She presented them. She seems super nice. <laughs> yeah, she's nice. She's nice. Um, so that was sort of day one for us. There was, you know, a lot of walking around, just getting our uh, fill of things. Fair. Looking yeah. at a lot of cool stuff, <laughs> uh, which leads us to day two. Um, which day two we got there, the line was better. We thought <laughs> yeah. it was inside. We didn't have to wait outside, so we're like, "Oh, we're going right in. This would be great." And we actually, mm-hmm. you know, got a couple of wristbands to go to a couple of panels later on. We didn't get a Last Jedi mm-hmm. panel because basically you had to sleep overnight there again. Yeah, and then they <laughs> queued us all up in these uh, big, huge lines. And rose, was, yeah, rose. Uh, and it was supposed to open at ten, and we were in line. I don't know, ten thirty, after, still standing there waiting for them to let us in. Yeah, about ten thirty or so after. Yeah, and then and then something happened. Something that was amazing. Uh, Chris and I oh, joined. Well, 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 what? Well, Oh, sorry. sorry. First, just to set it up a little bit. So we're in those rows. But then there was also, like, in front of us, there was, like, this big open space that actually led down to the entrance. So we were all, like, in, like, basically, like, cattle in, like, a, like, a bin waiting to be slaughtered. Um, just kind of, like, section up in there. And then there was a big open space that led to freedom. And, and uh, people decided, yeah, they didn't want to wait around a little bit. And there was just little trickles of people that kept walking in front of us. Mm. And that was starting to get upsetting for a few yeah, people. There was one guy standing there saying, <laughs> no, you can't go down this way. And they were just sort of like, okay, whatever. And they just walked past them. And that's mm. that's the moment that Chris and I, you know, unwillingly joined the resistance. <laughs> the resistance actually happened at Star Wars Celebration. Basically, people just started breaking down all the barriers, and uh, mm-hmm. everyone started running towards the uh, the doors. <laughs> yeah, there was more of us than them. Yeah, pretty much. And we're like, okay, we either get trampled or we just keep going. So oh, man. we just went with them, and they actually stopped us at one point. And held us back for a little bit, but then it was just like, no, we're not staying anymore. And then there was the second push, and everybody just just rushed (laughs) in. And I'm still trying to figure out why they were holding everybody back. I think they just had it set up wrong. Yeah. Uh, Mm -hmm. Because it was just a mess. It was just a mess. And and, uh, they had the, yeah, they had people going in their own ways. And, so we got in, we joined the resistance, we conquered the evil empire of the <laughs> <laughs> celebration and made our way into the floor to watch the uh, Last Jedi panel on mm-hmm. the big screen, which was, it was hard, there was more people in there, so it was sort of harder to hear than the day before, Yeah, but we still got to see it, and all the cast, most of the cast, not all the cast, but most of the cast was there uh, mm-hmm. from the movie. And then they they say we got we got uh, something special for you and everybody's like oh here comes the trailer here comes the trailer, and the director uh, says we brought you the first look of the new movie poster and ever <laughs> you could just hear in the room everybody just go oh, oh. <laughs> poster oh. <laughs> and Josh Josh Gad was was there leading the uh, the panel 
And he was like, let's just take a moment and think about what just happened. That, you know, you announced a movie poster and everybody just all, it was just gasps. Like, oh, great. Um, but they showed the movie poster and it was beautiful. If you were in the room, you got one to take home with you. And it was funny. I looked on mm-hmm. eBay right after, and they were already on eBay for like three hundred bucks, which was oh, good grief, crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you bought two, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> I took a, I got a picture of it offline and put it on my phone background. Yeah, really. Uh, so that was my poster. But nice. uh, but then after that, he goes, "Oh, by the way, I guess we should show the trailer." So they showed the ah. trailer, and it was good. It was amazing. Um, yeah, it was really cool. Really liked it. Yeah, and it was funny uh, looking back. If you look at the um, the trailer for the Force Awakens and the trailer for the Last Jedi, pretty much shot for shot they match up. Oh, that I thought that was interesting. Yeah, that was hmm. that was interesting. So, um, well, did you? I, I heard that um, Kylo Ren's scar is moved a little bit, like it was. Yeah closer to his nose and now it's like over his eye now basically it was in the force awakens it was down the middle of his nose right and the director uh ryan oh street no (laughs) wow i just forgot his name anyways the director for the last jedi decided to move it because he thought it looked sort of weird Uh, going down ryan johnson yeah ryan johnson Decided that it looked a little weird going straight down his nose, so they, they put it over his eye. And, well, hey. I'm not watching it now, so they can't keep consistent. <laughs> I know, right? I'm just, I'm sorry. That just pulled me right <laughs> out. I can't do it. There I'm will done. be people that do that, but I'm like, it's a scar. I mean, yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. People are making a big deal of it, but it's like, eh. You know, yeah. it, things just heal differently in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. True. Maybe his... Maybe he, he gained weight in his face and yeah. he just, yeah. just moved. Just stretched you know? it out. They had to they had to remove that section of skin and just and just pull the other over so <laughs> yeah. it just exactly it, that's how it lined up. Yeah, yeah I mean they're come on. He used they the force technologies we don't have. So yeah. he just used but, the force, but he uh, refused skin from his butt to put on his face. So they. Yeah. Just had to make it <laughs> <laughs> but the trailer was great and it gave a lot of sort of you know foreshadowing and stuff that, that's probably going to happen um of course we saw ray training um on the island there which was pretty cool to see uh you hear um uh, luke skywalker walker talking over everything so we got to hear his voice actually um uh, and you also hear <laughs> if you listen carefully you can hear yoda in a scene and you can hear, I think, Ooh. Obi-Wan talking. And then it showed a picture of Kylo Ren's helmet that's all crushed and just sort of ruined. So I think the rumor is that he's getting a whole different mask for this movie. So we'll Ooh. see what that shall look like. Basically, hey, how can we sell more masks? Oh, let's give him a new one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Merchandise. Um, <laughs> Merchandising. Yeah. <laughs> um, I see what else, and then uh, basically at the end of the trailer, oh, yeah. it says that you know the Jedi must end. Um, mm-hmm. Which that which... last scene in the trailer, and somebody I uh, saw this on Twitter, and if you match that last scene of the twi- the trailer with some artwork that Dave Filoni did for Rebels, um, it's exactly the same, except you replace Luke with Ahsoka. Which was sort of cool. So I don't hmm. know if that was done on purpose or not, but they're in the same little outcropping where they're standing in the same thing. Uh, huh. So I don't know. I don't know. Interesting. And Ray, the the um, the actress that plays Ray. Wow. Yep. Daisy, jo- Daisy, Daisy, Rid- Daisy Johnson. Ridley. Daisy Ridley. <laughs> Daisy Johnson from no. Shield. Yes. From Agent no. Shield. <laughs> Daisy Ridley uh, <laughs> was all in red at the uh, panel. Yes, that was a big talker. Oh. Wearing red. Is she going Lady. to the dark side? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and then, um, um, I just forgot the other dude's name. I'm just forgetting names. Really now. good face. Are you John Vega? Yes, he was in a white coat with a black armband that said "dead." Oh. <laughs> 
Yes, it was, it was, it was very, um, and the, on his back, it was all black. Yeah. Uh, I don't first. know. And then Mark Hamill came out in all black. So probably means oh, absolutely beard. nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the beard. I think the beard is something to really read into. Yeah. But there's no, rumors no, that the that that Ray will combine sort of the dark and the light side to make oh, uh, sure. we'll make the world a better place. So what, what so, they're calling so the I, gray Jedi. So so during this I came up with my own theory oh, for the movie. Of course. <laughs> that, that <laughs> of course I love my theories. <laughs> uh I think I think she is going to turn out to be. Uh, she's not going to be like a, a daughter of somebody necessarily. I think she'll be a clone somehow. A clone that of Luke's was, hand that was made. On the, <laughs> could be a Luke's hand. I don't know. It could be a combination of people. It could be something that, that she was made to be kind of like a weapon or something somehow, and then they they whisk her away and put her on the planet. I don't know. It, maybe it's too Logan. I don't know. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Now the I saw the day. This is sort of away from celebration, but um, the superhero cafe people, the how it should have ended people, mm-hmm. came out with the Batman Superman discussing the Last Jedi trailer. And have you seen this before? They're pretty funny. It's basically Batman <laughs> and Superman sitting in a cafe, and they're just sort yeah. of like talking about stuff. So they start talking about the trailer, and they're like, "Oh, is she going to be?" Uh, Ray Kenobi, I like the sound of that. And then um, the other Batman says, "I think she's going to be something all of her own." And and Superman was like, "Oh, maybe she'll be Ray Ray Pumpkins." And they're like, "Yes, yes, her name is Ray Pumpkins, and her dad is David S. Pumpkins." And so they figured it all out. She's related to uh, David S. Pumpkins from Saturday Night Live. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes, makes a lot of sense. sense. <laughs> We don't even need to watch it now, so we're good. Yeah, yeah. No, it's I'll funny go. though; you should watch it. Um, <laughs> so, also that day after the Last Jedi tra- or trailer and panel, which was great, uh, they had Carrie Fisher tribute with Mark Hamill, um, mm-hmm. which it's is very cool. touching. Very touching. Yes, did you cry? Very nice. Uh, did I cry? No, I did not cry. Yeah, I actually. Because <laughs> he's is, heartless. No, uh, I got a little, you know, there was parts of it that was like, oh, you know, getting to me. But, um, did you have to fan yourself with your hands like you just did? <laughs> no, they, yeah. He had the vases. Uh, <laughs> but I feel really bad. I feel really bad because, you know, we hadn't had any sleep much. And it was a dark room with comfortable chairs, and I fell asleep during part of it. <laughs> I'm a heartless human being. I woke up. With, yeah, I woke up with people <laughs> laughing and clapping. I'm like, oh, I must have missed something. <laughs> <laughs> but Mark Hamill, Hamill is just a pleasure to listen to. He's he's got yeah, some he's, good stories. Yeah, super nice to listen to. He still had his voice at that point too, yes. so that was not. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but that was a very touching uh, tribute to her, um, and it sort of continued through the whole um, time that mm-hmm. we were there, the whole convention. Yeah, and uh, Billy Billy Lord came out. Her daughter, yeah, came out. Uh, uh, the fortieth panel. I can't remember. If she came out at that one too. But yeah, she, she was dressed in something reminiscent of Leia's outfit from like the first movie, and did, did a nice did a nice speech about her mom, and it was very cool. Yeah, <laughs> very cool. So that um, after that, the uh, oh, we wore matching jackets that day. Oh. We did wear matching jackets, <laughs> which was really we weird. Were... The lady that we stayed with basically bought us these Star Wars jackets at her um, Disney store for like a dollar ninety nine, and uh, it was sort of cold in there, so they were white with the uh, uh, like sort of like an Empire emblem on them. And um, I don't know, we wore them <laughs> together. I wore a mask at one point, <laughs> yeah. a Kylo Ren mask with it, and just sort of walked around with it on. Um, and and, and you also and you also wore your your pajama oh, bottoms. That's true. I wore my your, stormtrooper your stormtrooper pajamas. <laughs> so I was all decked out. We got we got a we got a picture of you because they had a big job of the hut on the floor oh, that people would go up and, and and like lay down on like the pillows in front of them, like you know, slave <laughs> Leia does or whatever. And there was lots of people doing that. And you got up there in your, your pajama bottoms and your and your jacket and your Kylo Ren hat and just kind of flopped down on there like you're just like Al Bundy from Married yeah. with Children. And this 
and this little child <laughs> crawled up beside you and just kind of laid down on the pillows and, and <laughs> got very comfy and just and <laughs> it's, it's a stark contrast between you just flopping and him just looking all so sweet. <laughs> he, was, he was curled up in, in Java's tail. Uh, it took us a while to get that picture because uh, we had to wait around because there was a... <laughs> There was a person dressed up as Slave Leia standing there. Oh, um, uh, yeah. I think I saw that. Uh, oh. But it was not... Um, oh, flattering? No. Yeah, not flattering Leia. Uh, <laughs> it was like Grandma Leia. I mean, to oh, put it nicely, yeah, I guess. It was a I mean, she, she, she was there. She was into it. She I went mean, for, for it. her. Yeah. But she went all out for that. But she um, was but I don't, older I don't I don't know if everyone wanted their picture taken with her, and she would not leave no, no. Java's lap and just kept going, hey, come on! And I think she scared one little child because yeah. he didn't want to go up there. No. <laughs> there were a few slave layers, mostly older, older, older women and and big, um, overweight men. Uh... <laughs> yes. One particular guy with tattoos. He was a big guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And that was the day I was fully in Kylo Ren costume, and I, I I should have. I wanted to go up to him and go, Mother, you've really let yourself go, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, uh, um, and, yeah, go ahead. Oh, sorry. And we we also went to the Lego panel that yes. day. It was on 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 a Friday, which which was which was kind of cool. I mean, a little bit. They kind of went over like. How they did some box art. Brian's falling asleep even as I'm talking. <laughs> um, but the, it's it's just the guy that they got doing it. He's, he's like one of the main guys, I guess, behind this Lego stuff there. Like the this package design. And these guys aren't necessarily always the best people to give these little speeches. And he had a PowerPoint, basically. It was a PowerPoint mm-hmm. presentation. And every PowerPoint said exactly what he was saying <laughs> it's like there was even one that says who am i or what <laughs> like a little bit about me and then uh, he would talk about himself <laughs> and yeah. and yeah going through the box art he just had okay here's a box that we would start with and it was a blank box with like front written on front written on the front and then back written on the back it's like this would be the front and this would be the back um, as you can see I put the words on here so you could know which was the front and which was the back. Because <laughs> without sure. them, you wouldn't know. <laughs> uh, it was, uh, especially after like the last Jedi panel, like that was, that was pretty much a letdown. Um, <laughs> it was, yeah. it was sort of boring. I mean, I feel sorry for the dude, but yeah, we did get to see an episode, the new episode of uh, the Freemaker Adventures, like a Star Wars, yeah. in that. So that was and cool. that was fun. Yeah, that, that was, was cool. Fun. I like that. And then we <laughs> ended that night with uh, a screen of Rogue One and A New Hope back to back, which is oh yeah, really fun to see on the big screen. Just back to back. As soon as Rogue One ended, A New Hope started, and it was just like it continued, and yeah. it was amazing. Yeah, so it's the first time they did that. I think yeah. they said they yeah. showed it back to back. So, so with the um, the original movies, four, five, six, right? Were were these still the enhanced versions, or was it? Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was the enhanced. <laughs> ones. Yeah. And looking yeah, at and watching them now, like as far as like how far CGI has come, when you watch them now, you're like, oh gosh, that just looks bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was good. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, Especially when they do like close ups and like the textures on the big animals, just like, oh wow, pixels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you could definitely tell that they were just sort of plopped in there uh, now, but it was still cool to see it on the big yeah. screen. Oh yeah, once definitely. Again. Yeah, yeah. Anytime like a a character would for the first time, like Luke would come on, there'd just be a huge cheer from the crowd, and that was really cool. Yeah, just like everybody yeah. was into it. It's almost like a Rocky Horror Picture Show screening where everybody just kind of like got up and and stead lines and and shouted and waved, and it was it was cool. <laughs> they yeah. didn't throw toast. Didn't no, know. didn't throw toast. <laughs> but that was day two, which leads us into day three, which uh, we got there a little later that day. Um, 
because I wanted to sleep a little. But we walked straight in, right? Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I well, I got up at five. We're like, we're getting up in the morning. We're gonna get up. I got up at five. <laughs> in there, I get shower. I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready to go. And I look at my phone. There's a text like, oh, I think I'm going to sleep in a little bit. I'm really tired. My brain wants to go, but my body doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> so we slept in a little bit, but we got there. Got to walk straight in, and we got the wristbands for the panels that we wanted. And we didn't have to get there nice. before the sun came up, so that was good. Well, well we got the one wristband um, for the the movies. Yeah, um, and we waited we, in line. We, That's right. we waited in line for um, for Battlefront Two and Disney Parks, and we got in. Um, yeah, without wristbands, so mm-hmm. we lucked out. The Battlefront Two was we got in, and it was amazing. Um, yeah, I'm a fan of the first game. Uh, well, I'm a fan of the old games, but uh, the first game that came out, and this one looks like it's going to uh, top it. Um, they're going to have a, a single-player campaign um, that revolves around a Inferno um, squad. It's a yeah. s- squad of special uh, storm special troopers. Ops. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so that takes place right after, basically, Return of the Jedi. Um and looks amazing. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was yeah, super it cool. I, I don't really play a lot of games or anything, but I was, but I, I like, I'm a, of course, in animation and stuff, and so like it was, it was some really good quality stuff, and I thought it looked awesome. Yeah, and it's going to be and, considered canon, so it's going to, it's canon, yeah. is what they said, which I was thought was pretty cool that this is going to be canon. This is going to be part of the Star Wars story now. Uh, but the other thing they're doing with the game, especially for multiplayer, it's going to be all movies basically so you're gonna yeah, be able to play eras. as yeah all eras you're gonna be play as darth maul you're gonna be able to play as the clone troopers um all the way up until the last jedi they're gonna have stuff from the last jedi in it mm-hmm. yeah they're, they're, cool. they already announced like a couple of costumes like the new costumes for ray and kylo you can get on pre-order yeah which was cool and yeah they showed some nice behind the scenes stuff too I, I don't know if they put i think it was after they went offline right then yes. they um, showed like a behind the scenes at, at one of the studios that did it. They just, like they'd never had like shown behind the scenes stuff there before, and it was cool. Uh, just talking a little bit further about the game and everything. They showed some clips of of uh, the motion capture people, uh, which one of them was uh, I think Paul Blackthorn, the the guy who plays the. The, like the detective on Arrow, like the dad of Laurel. Oh, okay. Uh, like Black, the Black Canary's dad, basically, and and he was he was all decked out in that, so he's going to be a character. So that was it was cool. it was interesting. One of the things they showed that you know basically after the camera stopped rolling and stuff during that thing was this. It looked like sort of like a droid, maybe, but it had the face of Emperor uh, Palpatine. Yes, yeah. that's right. And it was like, what is going on? Like, is he still alive? Is is this some kind of um, footage, found footage, or, or what have they put on this droid? Yeah, it was kind of hard to tell because, like, I'm guessing some of the game may take place a little bit before the Death Star explodes with him on it. So I don't know, maybe he could be, it, it's, it's almost like a, instead of a hologram, it's a protocol droid that he can kind of, like, hologram his face onto and it can walk around and move maybe, maybe. i don't know but it was interesting to hear the chatter as we were leaving people were like wait wait a second what does this mean is, is palpatine alive <laughs> and um so that was pretty pretty interesting that they showed that uh, mm-hmm. so we'll have to wait till november to see that's when it comes mm-hmm. out in november the other cool thing they did is um they basically uh, said everybody look under your seat and uh, there was two uh, things in people's seats, and they were giving away free, um, like PS4 Pros, with, oh, the, with the game yeah. that comes out. So basically, yeah. two people walked away with a, a brand new PS4. Uh, Pro. Yeah, and there were like limited edition, like the actual Battlefront uh, yeah. consoles too, like the the um, the controller. I think was Battlefront Two, like nice. art yeah. on it. It was so. really cool. So that was that was a fun panel. Uh, the other panel mm-hmm. that we did that day was the Disney Parks panel, um, which yeah. we waited in line for to and got in. And 
Um, it was cool. Um, mm-hmm. But like Disney does, they didn't give away too much. Um, not a whole lot. There's whole some lot. Little, little snippets here they, and there. They did a Star Tours thing where they said there's going to be a new uh, world coming to Star Tours from The Last Jedi that you can travel on called Crate, um, which that was cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Anthony Daniels was there. Yeah. It was cool. And he talked a little yeah. bit about how he got um, back involved with it. Yeah, and he's he's going to be uh, the pilot, right? He's going to be the pilot for the new ship. Oh, he's already the pilot. He's he's the pilot now. Oh well, yeah. well there was something else. To, uh, yeah, it was something basically like that. the was, the, uh, the old Star Tours. It was uh, a robot or a droid uh, that was okay. voiced by Paul Rubens, and then when they redid it, uh, the venture uh-huh. continues. Then it became uh, <laughs> C-3PO. And so it's going to continue on to C-3PO. Um, which is fun. I've, I've got to ride it several times. And basically you go to a different place every time. Um, so great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's cool. And then, but they're going to have a new one coming out with a new new world from The Last Jedi. And then they went into talking about uh, Star Wars Land. That will be yeah. hopefully debuting in 2019. Um so they talked. They talked. They showed some pictures. Didn't say much about it. Um, we thought that we were going to get some more information. They started talking about this new lightsaber technology that's supposed to be just like a real lightsaber, and they and they started to talk about it. But then it was sort of like, oh, we shouldn't have mentioned that. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> yeah, it's like the yeah the host of the panel mentioned it, and then he looked at them. And they're like, uh, they kind of look around like. Yeah, it's going to be really cool. Um, <laughs> so there's also other stuff. <laughs> yeah. But uh, the one thing I did like, though, I mean, they mentioned they did say this was a new planet, basically where the like the park area is. It's like mm-hmm. a outpost, like a new outpost that no one's visited. But uh, and hope and I don't know how necessarily this will work for everyone, but I guess it'll work with the wristbands. But basically, you can build a reputation. Well, in this park, where like if you've like when when you're flying the Millennium Falcon, which is cool, like you actually get to fly the Millennium Falcon with a bunch of people, which is awesome. But if you like say kind of kind of wreck the ship a little bit, then uh, like if you go into the can- cantina after that, you're a pilot. <laughs> you kind of nice. build a reputation with people like in in the park. I thought that was kind of fun. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be. Hopefully they do yeah, it. Hopefully really cool. it lasts because I know a lot of times Disney will announce stuff, and they'll do it for the first few months, and then something will break, and they'll be like, "Oh well, we're not gonna fix it." So hopefully, fingers crossed, they'll keep doing it. They did. Uh, there is a rumor going around that there was a there was a survey that went out that they're build they're gonna possibly build a resort right next to Hollywood Studios. It's gonna be a Star Wars yeah. themed resort. Um. That basically it's going to be, for lack of a better way of describing it, a cruise ship on land. Basically, you book two yeah. nights, <laughs> yeah, and you eat yes. there, you sleep there, you have yeah. a character that you take on, that you go through around the resort as. So you build your reservation <laughs> there, and then you basically land in, in quotes land at the new <laughs> spaceport, and you go out into the new Star Wars land. Oh, I don't cool. know if it'll happen. It's just right now a survey that's been going around. But if it does, and, I mean, that would be amazing. And, and no one wants to do it in the survey. Just everybody's like, nah, <laughs> nah, 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 I don't, don't want to do that. that. Yeah. But <laughs> they're talking about it between 500 and 1,000. Yeah, it's it's almost, it's kind of like um, Westworld. Have you all watched Westworld on HBO? Yes. So everyone's gonna die there, basically. <laughs> well, it's like because <laughs> the whole idea of Westworld is that you go to this the old West and get to live out your your fantasies of being a wild West guy, you know, with guns and things. And so this is like you know living out that fantasy of being in Star Wars, and, and it's it's kind of it's kind of funny. But they spent it was like ten thousand dollars a day for that, yeah. you know, for that. But it, it, Lots gosh, a thousand dollars on this, yeah. Wow. Right. I'd do it. I'm like, take my money. I'll get another job <laughs> or a job or something. <laughs> a job. I'll get, I'll get a job. <laughs> I'll sell a kidney or something. I want to go. Mm. Um, 
But, you know, I hope there is some cool lightsaber technology. And the thing is, announcing stuff this far ahead of time, uh, there's always a chance that we could build it up for more than it is. And when it gets here, we're just sort of like, eh, okay. So we'll see. That's the thing I like about Universal. When they announce something, within a year, it's there. So it's not huge build up. Mm -hmm. So there's not this letdown. But announcing, like, like Avatar Land, it's not even opened yet. And I'm still sort of like, it could be cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, so back to, so that was the Disney parks. Um, that was the day that I also cosplayed as Kylo Ren, which I never have done before. Um, and it was a cool experience. Of course, there everybody's dressed up, so it's not that big of a deal, but just walking around in this full costume and having kids look at you. <laughs> That's my dog in the background. I mean, <laughs> he's giving his he's two excited. cents. Yeah, he's excited. Um, but having kids look at you and either like are happy to see you or like cower in fear of you, um, it's sort of this cool feeling. You get to walk around and people want pictures. The coolest part was they have the Star Wars show stage there, which was looked like um, part of it looked like Jabba's palace. And I got to go up on stage and just hang out on stage dressed in costume um, mm. with some other people. It was funny. They had a, a Princess Leia and a Han Solo up on stage with me. And so we got to mingle around a little bit. So we were on the show. You could watch it online. If you see a Kylo Ren, it may be mm. me. Um, but <laughs> afterwards, when I came off the stage, uh, Han Solo guy and Princess Leia was like, come, come, come here, come here. And I was like, okay. Was like, can we get a, Can we get a family photo? <laughs> and I was just like, oh, it's so funny. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, let's take a family photo. So I took a, a family photo with Han Solo and Princess Leia. And so that was that was really cool. And it was just cool to see because how many how many people support each other in costumes. That, that they're like, mm-hmm. you know, your costume is cool. It wasn't a like, oh, man, my costume is so much better than yours. It was like, hey, cool costume. And just very supportive, uh, the community mm-hmm. there as a whole. It wasn't like any bashing or... Or looking down on you for not being, you know, screen accurate or anything. Um, yeah, that's no, that's safe talk- for later when we talk down about the uh, older ladies wearing the. the <laughs> that's <costume>. true. <laughs> uh, well, well, yeah, everybody talks behind their back. But that's right. Yeah. Well, I mean, the the thing about that was like <laughs> that she was like forcing people to take a picture, and I'm like, no, don't force people. Just go yeah. back to business. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but so there was a lot of cool costumes. Uh, probably one of Chris's favorites was the Darkwing Duck. Um, yes, the Jedi Darkwing Duck was awesome. It was like in purple. He had a purple lightsaber. The mask was great. It looked really nice. And because uh, well, one Halloween, like our mom is a great costume maker, and. Uh, and Darkwing Duck was one of my favorite cartoons as a kid, and she actually made a Darkwing Duck outfit for me. I won a Halloween contest with it. Nice. But uh, she took like two brims of hats and turned one upside down, and and like made a bill for the for the mask. It was really nice. cool. Yeah, but yeah, that that guy's costume was awesome. Yeah, my favorite costume <laughs> was probably the it was the old Han Solo uh, from Force Awakens, but he had taken a lightsaber and he had it basically through him stabbed through him and, uh, yeah. and it was lit up and everything yeah that was what was cool was it was lit up on both sides too. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he was that just was walking nice. around going like kids you know what are you gonna do with them and stuff like that it was just <laughs> it was really funny <laughs> but chris was joking with me because there was uh other people around us in costumes that were like um uh for lack of a better word, scantily clad females. And so people are taking pictures and, and I'm sitting there going, Han Solo, pose for me, pose for me, taking his picture. And Chris is like, yeah, you're you're the geek here. You're the one's like, forget those people. I want to take a picture of Han Solo with the lightsaber through him. Um, yep. Beautifully scantily clad women all around. And he's like, yeah, get out of the way, get out of the way. Okay, old man, come here. <laughs> <laughs> It was a great, it was a great costume, and and the best group costume that I that I liked um, um, was the uh, Matt, the technician from the Saturday Night Live sketch 
Kylo Ren dressed up as Matt, the radar technician. There was a group of them all together, and they were basically quoting lines from the thing walking around, and they were hilarious. Um, that was great. Yeah. Yeah, they would see like Princess Leia or Han Solo walk by, and they would be like, Hello, not mom. Hello, not dad. And it was just like, <laughs> it was so funny. Of course, they had the running of the ice cream um, man, and I, I forget the name of his actual character, but there's a character in Empire Strikes Back in Cloud City that if you watch, it's this guy running in this orange jumpsuit carrying what looks to be an ice cream maker. And so the tradition at the Star Wars conventions has been a whole group. I mean, I don't know how many there were 40 or 50 of these guys all in orange jumpsuits with these, um, ice cream makers in their hands running around going ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. It was hilarious, but that's sort of the running of the ice cream man. Is, yeah. It's, it's hilarious. That was funny. That was, that was my first experience of them. Yeah, Chris was like, what is that? I'm like, oh, let me really cool. let me show <laughs> you. <laughs> rookie. Yeah, rookie. But uh, <laughs> we ended the day. Chris went to watch Empire Return of the Jedi and Forkus Awakens back to back. I caught parts of it, but then I went to be a bouncer at a um, podcast <laughs> called Skywalking Through Neverland, which is a great podcast if you like Disney, like Star Wars. It's another great one to, to check out. Uh, but they had me there in my full Kylo Ren costume, basically at the door, making sure people were going where they were supposed to go, um, which is fun. And I got to just sort of hang out at their podcast, which is a shout-out to them. But it was funny. I was sitting there bouncing. They call me a bouncer, but I just stood there while people walked by. And there was this uh, guy dressed up as, as Luke Skywalker, and he he walked past me and just started yelling at me. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm in this mask and I can't hear anything. And I guess he was taunting me saying that I was lazy and a lazy nephew and I couldn't do anything <laughs> and stuff. And I was just sitting there going, Hey, yeah, hello. <laughs> <laughs> but it was cool to see another podcast at work. Um, and I joined Chris after that to watch the, the end of the movies. But again, it was cool yeah, to see you, the movies on the big screen. Yeah. You came in at the end of, uh, her- of the Jedi and then yeah. Force Awakens, you got to see the whole thing. But yeah, yeah during Empire was great, and I recorded it because I knew it was going to be big. Like uh, it was the scene coming up with uh, Luke fighting Vader, and they're on the platform, and Vader cuts his hand off. Oh, spoilers! Oh, and what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. big, big spoiler coming up here. And and it got to that point. It was like, oh, yeah, I am your father, and what? the whole crowd what? erupted. He's his father? Insane. What? Uh, <laughs> Spoiler number two. <laughs> uh, like cousin of the of the landlord of the <laughs> the second removed. Yeah, it was something like that. But yeah, but it was it was awesome. Like I recorded it because it was just great. Because everybody just it was huge, just uproar when that happened. It was it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> but that ended Saturday, which led us to Sunday, the last day. Yeah, it went by so fast. Yeah, the last day was uh, we got to go to Hamill himself, which basically was Mark Hamill on stage, just telling stories, and he's just yeah, again a pleasure to listen to. He was funny, mm-hmm. and uh, he told all kinds yeah. of stories. Uh, but he was last time he lost voice. his voice. Yeah, yeah, because he he didn't get to do the Joker voice. I always wanted to see him do the Joker voice in person. I've seen him online doing it and stuff, but. But he kind of did the laugh, it was like, eh, eh, eh. but it wasn't <laughs> because he he almost just kind of sounded like a joker at that point since he lost his voice a little bit. Yeah, he did. Uh, like, welcome. Ah. <laughs> 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 but that was fun. And then we walked the floor stop. some some more, and then um, went to the closing ceremonies, which yeah. Oh, and. At the Mark Hamill panel, though, like the the thing that sold the show were his dogs. Yes, his dogs ran on stage. <laughs> I don't think they were supposed to, but they just ran on stage and started playing around. <laughs> yeah, started jumping around. Everybody, he was trying to tell the story, and he kept starting over. And they kept the dogs kept like running all over the furniture and everything. And eventually, he's just like, you know what? Let's just watch the dog. And he just kind of <laughs> sat back, and just like. This is more entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. Uh, 
at the end of the closing ceremony, there wasn't. It was just the hosts. There was no actors or actresses or anything. Well, well Warwick Davis. Who, well, who he was one of the that, hosts. Was, yeah. yeah, so he was basically the host for the whole thing. Um, mm-hmm. But they sort of just closed it off, showing video of clips from the from the from the week, and then they said, "We'll see you again in 2019." Mm-hmm. But don't know no where. clue where. Don't know where. <laughs> So that ended our experience. Um, oh, we didn't really buy anything that much. We got a couple of things, but um, everything was super expensive. Uh, but yeah. we had a blast. We had a blast, and mm-hmm. I'm ready to go sure. again. Uh, we yeah. ended our I'm trip ready at to sleep. Uh, yeah, ready to sleep. We ended our uh, <laughs> trip at Disney Springs. Got to go over there and eat and mm-hmm. just sort of hang out. And then we got to go to uh, Escapeology, which is an escape room that night for free. Um, got the hook up yeah, there, awesome. which we'll have a little short podcast about that. Just sort of our experience there. We had a great time. Um, Katrin, any other questions for us? Uh, yeah. I don't think so. Which, what do you, what do you guys think is, um, which, which is nerdier, a, a Star Trek convention or a Star Wars convention? They have conventions for Star Trek? People still like that? <laughs> <I bet> they <laughs> probably do. I, I bet they thing? still do. Yeah. <laughs> there were a few people dressed up as Star Trek yeah. characters there. and Let's just say they oh, did not man. make it out alive. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then, and then there was the people dressed up as Toy Story characters walking around, too. Oh, they were that creepy. That was weird. It wasn't like yeah. a cross play where they were Star Wars slash Toy Story. It was just straight on Toy Story, and they looked like they had escaped from some kind of asylum or something. Like they were creepy looking. Like I thought it was like <laughs> Halloween Horror Nights or something. And they were walking around, and I'm just like, oh gosh, they're going to steal little children or something. It was, just, I mean, it was weird. It was, it's like they just wandered in. Place. Yeah. yeah. Very out of place and very odd. I mean, good, good, good on them for uh, wanting to dress up, but yeah, that was just an odd choice. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I certainly missed you guys, and we didn't get to record last week, so oh. I actually went to sleep and and got rest. So that was <laughs> well, that sounds boring. Good for me. Yeah, well, we're, we're back at it. A lot of other stuff has yeah. happened this week, but we'll have to do that on our next uh, next episode. Yeah, yeah. Like a Thor trailer. The Guardians of the Galaxy stuff and Flashes next week is back. All kinds lots, of stuff going lots on. More things Summer is here, mm-hmm. so uh, it's going to just start ramping up more and more. Um, but yeah, we had a great time. Hopefully, the next time it rolls around, maybe all three of us can go. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And we'll make we'll make Catron <laughs> dress up. No. Oh. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Slave Leia in the making. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> probably not probably not <laughs> next but time it Ryan... rolls around maybe we'll bring our kids that would be fun ugh <laughs> crowds like that no oh I have a kid oh. Oh, it's bad enough taking a kid to Disney World and <laughs> take them to something like that <laughs> they get all no, the we free our... stuff though all the kids over there they're like here take this for free take this for free nice. oh yeah like all yeah. the kids got everything <laughs> Stupid kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, well, uh, until next time, this is I Am Geek. Uh, thanks for joining us, and we'll talk to you again real soon. Have a good night. Bye.